1 Peter chapter 5 and Proverbs chapter 27. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, it talks about the devil. It says, be self-controlled and alert your enemy. The devil prowls about like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And it really strikes me. So this is a, a spiritual warfare verse. And I love the armor of God. And the armor of God is very clearly laid out that your first greatest battle is with conflicts, the belt of truth. Your next greatest battle is with your emotions, the breastplate of righteousness, and resting and trusting in Jesus for your righteousness. Well, it's interesting that 1 Peter 5 is laid out the same way because the first um, six, six verses, 1 through 6, is all about humility and not having strife and be humble. Actually, says be humble like six or seven times, which is don't have strife in your life. And then it goes on in verse 7, and it says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So I wrote down Satan attacks through strife and anxiety. And so today we're going to block the devil because we're going to walk in such humility and we're going to walk uh, casting our anxiety and walking in the righteousness of Jesus Christ so that in our hearts we're calm and we're at peace. Let's go over to Proverbs because I have a very precious verse to me in Proverbs. Proverbs 27 verse 2 says, Let another praise you and not your own mouth, someone else and not your own lips. And I wrote down here, Beth, all capitals on my wife's name, capital B-E-T-H, let me praise you, smiley face, because my wife is the most beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous, gorgeous, kind, pure-hearted. Uh, she's hilarious. She's brilliant. She's godly. She hears the voice of the Lord. She's the most amazing woman that ever walked the planet. And sometimes she jokes that I, she doesn't want me to praise her. And I say, baby, the Bible says to let someone else praise you. And so there's, a, there's not just a command to not praise yourself, but there's a command to, if other people want to praise you, to let them do it. So if someone else wants to praise you today, the Bible says, let them do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.